Last gasp equalisers from Gareth Barry and Kieran Clark. Wins inspired by Darius Purcell and Stylian Petrov. There have been some wonderful Premier League outcomes for Villa at Stamford Bridge. Now the current crop aim to silence the Chelsea faithful. After poor recent results, both teams in need of the points, Froggy. Who'd have thought that of Chelsea? You know, the, the reigning Premier League champions, desperate for a victory at home themselves. They've had such a shocking start to the season. Um, and he's never lost successive home games either. Has it surprised you how much they've struggled? Yeah, of course, yeah, like everybody else, because nobody saw that coming. I, I, I just, the only thing that you do see is that, and, and it happened with Fergie's Man United team on three or four occasions, where you, you, your leaders and your best players, the sell-by date has come and gone, and mm. they need moving on. He did it with Lampard, he wanted to do it with Terry, he wanted to buy John Stones in, wasn't, it didn't happen. That's caused them a major problem because they're conceding goals for fun. Mm. Ivanovic as well, another one of his trusted lieutenants has been right off the pace. Hazard, the player of the year, fantastic last season, has not performed this year. So they've got real problems and they are in an area where they are all very unused to, near, near the bottom reaches of the Premier League. But from Villa's point of view, they've seen Southampton do it. They say it could be a tough time to play Chelsea because they are up against it. Villa have to think, we'll go there will show some quality, will no doubt have a good spell in the game, as they have in every fixture so far, and, and try and get the result. But they need to turn that spell into a prolonged period, Jack. Yeah. That's what we haven't done so far this season. In fit, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, fits and starts, we've seen some fantastic football, but it's not been prolonged enough. You know, even a half isn't good enough. You need to do it for 60, 75 minutes on a prolonged basis to actually then get your result and we need to stop conceding goals. That's our Achilles heel right now. Scoring goals has not been a, a, a massive problem, particularly away from home, mm. but it's the conceding the goals we've conceded far too many away from home against. And we're going to a Chelsea team where history would say we either get a decent result or we get thumped. Yeah, and we had Craig Cochrane here last time, the voice of the fans, and we thought we'd put it out on Facebook this week, the opportunity for the supporters to have their say on possible team lineups. Yeah, I mean, we think it's very important to give the, the, the supporters their opportunity to, to come up with a team. And we've all, you know, we're all <laughs> managers, you know, we've all got our own teams we'd like to, to see play. And we've seen some, you know, great ideas from certain people mm. and some very funny ones along the way yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, th yeah, that one's going to come up on the screen in a moment from uh, Tony. Thanks for that. <laughs> I don't think there's an option there. But you look at it and people are talking in the, in the pubs, in the clubs. Um, there is a nervousness going into the match, obviously, but there has to be an excitement as well. You go to Stamford Bridge, yes, it's been love-hate. There have been great highs and real lows there over the years. If you hear the talk from our dressing room, Mika Richards is coming out the skip and saying, you know, even though we know it's been a real bad start, the, the, the confidence is high. So he's putting, as the skipper, putting out for me all the right messages mm. because we need to hear that. Even though things aren't going well, they, they've got that inner belief that they, they will go on and do well. That's important but they've got to start delivering now. They, they need results. And it's not an easy place to go, Stanford Bridge. If, you, if you're you know, desperate for a result, go in there, it's not gonna be easy. Yet we're all praying from somewhere that we can get three points. And there's still time to turn it round. Jack, nine games in. Um, as a player, you look at the situation. If, if the confidence is good in the, in the team, and, and players aren't stupid, they realise that they've come together and they've barely worked together. Yeah. So whether this two weeks that the gaffers had has been a great opportunity to, to get on the training ground and work with them and to, and to mould them into a team, which he's mm. not been able to do, that's the, that's the key thing, is making them a team. At times we've looked individually very good, in, individually in little triangles, in spells of games, we look very good, but not, as I say, over a prolonged period of time. And sooner or later, we've got to click, I, and we will. Yeah. I'm absolutely convinced, Jack, that with, th this is as good a group of players we've had here for the last four or five years. Thanks, Robbie. Much more analysis over on AVTV. Let's hope it's a special one for Aston Villa on Saturday.